you guys from Woods Farmer. Welcome back. I guess you're watching part two of how to plumb your two 275 or two 250 oil tanks. Today we're just going to finish up a little bit of plumbing inside. By now if you watched part one you guys know the difference in pipe fittings, the nipples, the 90s, the three-piece unions, how everything works with your pipe dope without Teflon because Teflon is bad for oil furnaces. Um, all we're going to do today is we're going to put a couple more nipples and 90s on get ourselves to the outside of the house and I'm going to show you if you're putting any kind of uh, piping like that through the sandstone or block foundation how we're going to repair that we squared up we squared up the house and a few other things I want to show you today so uh, yeah let's get started we got that out of the way part two we're taking the two inch 175 inch nipple in so we're gonna have to try to wiggle it through there uh, we got it some twists and turns so we're gonna get that unloaded. We got the 76 inch nipple and then a couple other little things. Okay, so this long nipple is actually the vent nipple and you get a size for how big this is. This is gonna stretch all the way from the vent far end all the way to the wall. So I'm gonna have to have somebody on this side helping me. I'll probably be on this side just hand screwing it in and somebody will hold it. I'll screw it in tight with a wrench and then block it up here and then eventually have it strapped up to the joists and possibly even a whole board down to the floor because it's pretty it's a pretty heavy piece of pipe we got the pipe in but it's very heavy, this two inch bench. So we're just gonna tighten this up. And the fill's a shorter distance. And we're gonna set it down on that end over there and then brace it up. We have some exterior deck screws, this piece of old strap, and we're gonna use that to just tie it up. I mean, let's use this pipe strap. Now you could just loop around, even do a double loop and come back up. So you have both sides, but what we did is opted for a couple bolts here you want it just heading downhill a little bit that way if they do overfill your tanks oil furnace is sucking it'll pull the fuel out of the vent down into your furnace eventually if it hopefully does not leak so that's the reason why you want it just out of level going downhill just a bit we got the two inch vent line ran to the wall i put that little 90 on there on the end we're gonna angle that up towards the floor joists now i didn't show you that guys the 90s and things like that and more you're more familiar with the terminology how to screw unscrew things to put on the paste the pipe though so i'm going to save you guys a little time now fast forward i got this strap ran to the joist and then i also what i did is i put uh since like i don't have any studded walls or sandstone i come right off the joist to the ground with another two by four stud and then I pipe strapped it because this was a lot of pipe and I was a little worried about it. But I think after we mortar that in, this strap and that strap on there and connected to the pipe, I think this isn't going to really go anywhere. It's not going to uh, anywhere now. We still got a little bit of a sway in the crossover. We got our fuel gauge in and now we're just putting this nipple. Again, I ain't going to show you screwing it. We're putting this nipple into the street 90. We're gonna come off with a 90. And basically I'm gonna start recording whenever I get over there and coming in from the outside of the home. So I'm gonna get this all put together, then I'll record it, show you what it looks like. And then we're gonna start piping it out to the outside of the home. I'm gonna show you how to mortar that up and do all that out there. All right, so I took the liberty and putting the pipe dope on our two nipples. You wanna start off in the closest corner with the inch and a half fill. And then we're gonna move on to the two inch back. And what we want to do is we got to get ready to go from the inside to the outside of the home. So we just want everything 90. We're going to go ahead and put rags in the ends of those 90s just because we're going to have to take a little more out. You don't want 
any debris getting into these new pipes. You have a new system. Next, we're gonna get our elbow. Okay, next we're gonna go outside with our longer nipples. And we're gonna try to eye up to see if we can get a straight shot, screw it into the elbows and get this done. Okay, I really didn't wanna use Teflon, but we just ran out of pipe dope and none of the hardware stores are open right now on a Sunday that would have it. So, quick tutorial on plumber's tape or Teflon. The way you wanna screw, you want your end end of your tape going with it you don't want it to go against or else it'll get all crunched up so if we're screwing it in that way we want it to go with it or else it would go like this and kind of get bunched up as we screw it on Not too sure if you guys could see that in there. Let me try to focus this. But the two inch hole I think would be okay. It's the inch and a half side over here. We're gonna have to try to bust this out. So I'm gonna go ahead inside and I'm gonna plug up those elbows. All right, now that I have those wrapped up, I do have them plugged as well. We can hit any kind of debris we want. It'll just fall down here. We'll sweep it up later. Now I'm gonna use a digging bar over there to bust out that old mortar. Now what you wanna watch is if you have a old terracotta block, speed block, uh, a weaker wall, even on this sandstone, it's brittle. You don't wanna go crazy with that digging board. You could literally blow out your whole wall of your home and destroy your foundation. So just take off a little at a time and don't hit too hard. We're gonna take this end off, the rag off, and try to get that screwed in there now. I hope this doesn't pose too difficult because that pipe is really long, that sandstone is thick, but we're gonna give it the best try we can. All right, now we got it going, we're gonna get it started. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a block back here so this pipe doesn't damage on the end. Cause you gotta remember leverage. We got a lot of leverage on a pipe that's about eight foot long. Now that these are both started, this is what this is gonna look like. We're gonna have to re-mortar up all through here to keep animals and bugs and snakes and spiders out. Generally, I would say that you'd wanna do one pipe at a time, but I'm not sure how much wiggle out room I would have needed cause that's such a small hole. I didn't wanna take two two feet more of sandstone out for another inch and we got her in there. So I'm just gonna tighten the two inch, tighten the inch and a half, then call it a winner. Start putting on my elbows. Try to get this inch and a half 90 put on there. We got our fill cap.
Teflon another nipple before we put our fill cap on. Now that we got that on there, we're going to tap on this side and reduce this bushing down because this is all we could find was a two inch fill cap. I'm getting using those bushings. I'll show you how they go. Here's our little fill cap. You can lock it. Just put a lock on without locking it like a dummy lock so it deters thieves. This is going to go in here. I'll show you real quick. To reduce that down. on this bushing remember what I said in the first part all your male threads get Teflon or pipe clear. never do a female thread or a flare fitting Cap, that cap down kind of sideways. Fit that in there. And that'll just have to be good enough. And we'll do something like that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get our Rural King cement. We got a couple bags left. I couldn't get any type N mortar today. That's what you're supposed to use. But uh, we have a couple of those bags left over, so we're just gonna cement it up and call it a day. So uh, the, what I found easiest to mix up any kind of small amounts of cement, just get your little, uh, like your triangular trials. And you get a five gallon bucket, two of them, one with water and one with your cement. And that's easy on the go. So let's go cement this up. Okay, a couple things you're gonna need if you're doing concrete. Want well, one of these brushes, it doesn't have to be nothing fancy, the dollar store works. Like a triangular trial like this, a uh, rectangular trial like this one here. A couple of these Harbor Freight or Rural King or Tractor Supply buckets are always a couple, couple bucks at those hardware stores nice little edger here and for this job that's all you'll need and the other concrete job keep watching the channel we'll do other little projects you'll see what a steel trowel and the floats and uh you know a brakes for so I always put a little water at the bottom of the one i'm mixing it in oh it gives you a little moisture already You don't want to mix too much at once because it's, it's more of a pain in these buckets if you got too much to mix. Now, like we have this exposed vent right now, so if you were doing this and these pipes were exposed, you either want to stuff rag or just be real careful that you don't get any in this pipe. And as we're pushing that cement in the wall, you want to keep in mind or put someone on the inside you don't want to put a bunch of cement into your house if you don't need to so i like to get it like a dryer consistency like that and again i'd rather be doing this with mortar but i just don't have any available and it's going to make a mess but you're just going to want to keep pushing it in sometimes it's easier to use two of these trials that and just push it in with one so just keep feeding it in okay this is what you're looking for so you're just going to add a little at a time and then eventually we're going to smooth that in flat so always have some concrete or mortar set aside that way once this dries you can put another coat on and another coat until you get the preferred surface you want. Now we're gonna go around on the inside and do the same thing. All right, now we're on the inside of the home. 
and this is kind of what you want to go for. I couldn't get the camera up in here to film myself, but you just don't want any holes. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it is a messy job, so there's gonna be a lot of cleanup, and then now we're gonna go finish the outside. All right, we're just gonna go around. We're gonna fix this up a little bit with some uh, cement the best we can. We're gonna have to come back another day with the mortar and touch it up. We're not gonna be able to let it dry enough today to redo that. Uh, this is just a screw type bent. When I'm done there, I'm gonna throw this on. 